Okay. So today we are doing the wheel bearing on my wife's mom's car. 2003 Mercury LS. Doing the front. I got the axle nut off. Let's get it. No darts, Heisman. Standing in the front all day. We jacking it up or we jacking it up? Kev, you know I came to talk shit, right? Well, I came to help. But you know a little more about this than I do, so. I came to the brains. Does that help any? You should know how to do these. You dig your fucking Rodney, boo. I did. You know what? How many times? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that was a good rendezvous. I missed that truck. Oh, fuck them, please. You gonna be working on my Infinity next? Especially that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, no, man. In your neighbor, they must have did something. Because it don't just not turn on without... Touching something. All you touched was the brake lines. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Damn, you ain't even up, Kev. Come on. This is my truck. We were already been up off the ground. Yeah, I had my jack for a long time too, but mine still don't work as good as yours. That's because you got a bullshit one. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I paid 130 for my jack. <laughs> I paid 100. <laughs> you rip people off. <laughs> well, you rip your people off. Got it from me. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> did he know he was getting ripped off? Or did he rip himself off? He didn't care. Oh, he didn't need it. Guy he gave ripped it. himself off. Who cares, bro? That helps you out in the long run. guy gave it to him. Yeah, it did, because I still got the fucking thing. Even with blown seals. Did you fix them? I just put that fucking stop with shit in it. Oh. Buy my jack. It's it's wrong with mine. Mine still works. It was you were just talking about buying a new one. Not yet. You just that one fully shits the bed. See? You messing up, Kev. You messing <laughs> up, bro. I blame you. Yeah, the landlord stopped. Today? Yeah. Did you give him that business card? I forgot. Oh, you loser. Did you give him my number? No, no. I forgot that too. What you telling? Was it a good conversation? Huh? Was it a good conversation? Well, you wanted me to work for him, but fuck you, and I had Anna, so I couldn't. Oh, see? Then see? I taught him I had to wait for you to come. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blame me. By the way, the brakes feel like they're bad. They might be extremely bad. I don't know yet. Just so you know. I'll give you the heads up on it. Heads up. Yeah, I didn't so change them out for him. You didn't take the brake and the rotor out. I know this. Which means turn the wheel this way. Which means that's too much work on my end. <laughs> okay, I will. Hold this. <laughs> Let him see everything he's doing. Just show his hands. You ready? Yep. Okay. You want it all the way? Yep. There you go. We need to put an angle kit on this. For what? This car. For what? Because it look cooler. Yo, I want to do so much stuff to the <gasps> Infinity, but Sonny won't let me because that one's her car. <laughs> she ain't give a shit about the truck because that's my truck. Uh, yeah. But she does care about the Infinity. Get so much scratch it. I got it for her because that shit's a luxury car. Her only problem is when you're driving it, she says it feels too bulky. <laughs> it's too not bulky. bulky. Well, she's also a little person. <laughs> Wouldn't you think the rendezvous would feel worse? No, that feels like when you're driving it, bro, it feels wider than the rendezvous did. But she drives it better than she did the rendezvous, bro. That's the crazy part. She drives that car way better than the rendezvous. You go, Rex. Oh, I gotta do some work? Yeah. What the fuck was the point of calling my cousin then? To help right. you out? Oh, yeah, to help me out. Yeah, you're a genius. All right. I ain't got my tools, so give me some of those. Mine are locked in my basement. Yo, I tell you, I listened to my damn landlord, and I told him I was getting rid of my Buick, and he told us, oh, they put two on it. Perfect. Dead locker. Um, I don't care. Um, nope. Yep. Um, too big? Nice. Fits. 
Oh, uh, nah. Try 12. Um. Yeah, he told me to. Perfect. Um. Put the tools in the basement. I did that. Alright. Um. Then what half my tools. <laughs> oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yep. God damn, this bitch is in there. Wait, why are we just taking this off? Why not just take the whole housing out? Because it's pain in the ass to put back on. Oh, true. I did with mine. Yeah, well. Am I turning the right way? Turn the Hold fucking on. front. Let me see. Pulling towards us. No. You sure? I thought the caliber we went down with. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, wow. That's well. About to break. <laughs> Oh, this is this why I call you for cars. For that fucking cobalt, I want to go get that tensioner. Yeah. Look at the fucking list. What do you put that? Damn. <laughs> Malibu and all. Malibu Max, View, I out. Alright, Jaw. Stop that real quick. Brake caliber's off, the housing is off, the rotor is off. Working on getting the axle out of the wheel assembly. Not working the way you wanted it to? No, oh, it's stuck in there. So do this. Nope. Tri Hold on, I got a fucking chisel. Chisel, bro, I was gonna show you the fucking trick of the trade. I got something better. What you got better? Alright, well, he ran upstairs to go grab something. So, we'll be back in two seconds to you guys. It'll probably be five minutes for us. So, normally, you got this bolt right here. One up top here, and one on the other side. Same spot as this one. You'll just take off to pop the wheel bearing out. But, the axle thing right here. It's too wide to get the socket and the extension down in here where we need it to go. So we gotta take this bolt off and this bolt. Bring it all forward so we can take that off. What bolt's that? The ball joint bolt? Yeah. Okay, making sure. There's no towel dress down there, good. We'll spray it, clean it up, make it look new again. Or we put it back together. So that way it don't get stripped on there. <laughs> yeah. Hold this. I need that pipe. <laughs> Suck my dick.
uh, plastic bubbling out. Mm -hmm. It's so stupid shit they put in there for fucking washers. <laughs> Melt, motherfucker. Said all of you pointed towards the passenger. My bad, this one. <laughs> okay. You got that one bolt off the bottom. So now we gotta get the one on top to bring all this forward to get the bolt we kinda get. There we are. 20 minutes later from the last clip, we finally got it out. Kevin was sitting here cleaning all in here. You do gotta clean that out before <laughs> I put the new one in, just so everyone knows that. Here is the old one. 20 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. It's 30 minutes later. hard. The turn, it looks like the very first one the factory put in. You guys want the truth. So, we're just gonna get rid of this real quick. Like, so, <laughs> just throw it, why don't you? And we got the nice new one. Directions, we already know all that. Power <laughs> got the nice brand new shiny one right here. Brand new shiny. See how easy it is to spin compared to the other one. Perfect. Let's get this into place as long as Kev finishes up there. Gotta put some thread locker on there. Anti what? Anti Okay, it's anti seal it. <laughs> the brightness sucks so bad because. And like we just found out that iPhones suck adjusting the light. My camera died. Or we definitely have a better view of this. Huh. Better not touch my camera with that, you asshole. <laughs> touch it right on the right on the lens. And he puts it on the bolts too, so they don't come nice and loose. You know the whole deal. You asked me, I would have told you where it was. Like, you watch me take it out, show the camera, and everything, bro. What's wrong? That's a tight squeeze in there. <laughs> 